uh, Rock, Sewell, Nevis, Nape, Knowles, Hickling, Sisto, Coma, Chapman and McCoomey. And on the bench, we've got Potter, Peacock and McLean. Been looking forward to this game. It's always a ripper here at Raymond Park. Good position. He rips the ball in the middle. Snape's there. He doesn't get it. And then sh half a shot on goal, but that's hasn't even gone over the byline. So he goes out for a KPR play down the wing and it only goes as far as a rock. A rock has the opportunity to bang it back in the middle. Doesn't. Takes his man on. Takes two on. Probably needs to remove it now. Beats his man. Beats another one. And hits it towards the goal. And it's just beaten the post. Keeper didn't see one. Completely dead footed. Coma wants it a bit quicker. Got Sisto and Snape and Knowles all in the box. Good strength by Snape in the direction of Sisto. Sisto heads it on and, and that's on the keeper. Nothing doing there. Not much of a shot. Just Not the greatest ball from Knowles. Or is that Hickling? That was Hickling. He goes out for a goal kick. Good touch on by Knowles. He's got Snape. Snape plays it back to Knowles. Knowles has Sisto and Hickling out wider and he uses the ladder. He takes a touch on his right foot, puts it in front of a rock coming through. Takes a touch on the chest, plays it back into the middle. They need someone there, the Foxes, and they can't quite keep it in. But that's an entertaining play again. It's not the best goal kick. It's sort of scrub it on this wind, and in the end, the KPR have come away with it. Down to the right-hand side. Tucks it back in, plays it in the middle. Sewell steals it, and they come away. Plays it in front of Snape. Snape has the opportunity to take his man on. Can he fire? He does, and half a save, and put it back into this direction. And well cleared. O'Rourke takes it to the byline. Now he's got an opportunity to play it. It's great shot out the back line to Sisto. Sisto, a good header. Well defended by KPR, but only as far as Makumi, who plays it back to Knowles. Knowles on to Sewell. Sewell's got a man coming behind him. Stops it. Takes it. Plays it again in front of Sisto. A lovely ball. Sisto low. No one's there to put it away, though. Back to Chapman, who cleans up, and he plays it out to Makumi. Makumi down the right-hand side again, goes around his man comfortably, and he's away to the races with pace. He's got Sisto outside him. Will he use him? He does. That's not Sisto, that's Hickling. I should know that one. That stays in. And he's running towards the right post. He plays the ball in the middle and that's over the top. Free kick taken by Knowles into the middle and a header by Comer and it goes over the top. It's the fourth shot off target for the Foxes. Six shots to two, but one of the two for KPR went in and as such, they're up 1-0. But it goes back KPR away in the midfield. But Sisto fights and gets it. And then Knowles comes through and cleans up. Knowles has Makumi outside him, but instead plays Snape. Snape has beaten his man on the right-hand side. Is the opposite opportunity to drop it back in and sh fires a shot. And that's a goal kick. A wider and Sisto in front of him. He plays the ball over top to Sisto and to Makumi. And Makumi's got it back, trying to find Sisto. Couldn't quite get him. Another enterprising play down the right-hand side. KPR just hanging on down there. And, okay, gotcha. Nevis plays that ball in front of Knowles, but that's gone. Oh, no, I thought it was going to run away to the corner. It doesn't. Knowles controls it beautifully. He's got Makumi running past him, and in the end, Makumi's there, but he won't be able to play him there, and that'll be offside, and that'll go out for a goal kick. Uh, he doesn't have it, so he plays Hickling. To his feet, he overlaps him, and Hickling could use him, but doesn't. He plays it out to Comer. He plays it straight back to O'Rourke. A great lapping run by O'Rourke. He puks it in the middle. Can Sisto get there? He can. He hits it. It's gone out for a corner. Knowles with the corner down the right-hand side of attack. Snape making a nuisance of himself in front of the keeper. <coughs> Ball's put in the middle. Chapman near post. Sewell also near post. Hits the ball. Hit. Oh, Keeper was nowhere near that. It's absolutely bounced off the woodwork. A good corner from... from and that's hit by Sisto. A touch into the... Oh, jeez. Even I can't commentate quick enough. Snape onto Chapman. He can't be offside. That's a touch. Controls it out further. And there's more Clairvaux players coming forward. And Rourke this time takes a touch in front of his man and cops a kick for his one. And that'll be a free kick. Anyway, Hickling's over the top of the ball. Plenty of guys in the box. 
put to the near post. Oh, little bubble from the keeper. And then it gets hit, headed back by KPR. Knowles plays Sewell, Sewell out to Hickling. Hickling has Snape there and he has at the back in terms of Sisto, who gets ahead on it, but that's not going to do any damage there. Oh, another terrible goal kick. It goes straight to Snape. Snape controls it, plays it out in front of Sisto. Sisto's got an opportunity to take the man down. He shoots, and that's a very good bit of defensive work. Knowles with the corner. Snape again making a nuisance of himself with the keeper. It's beautifully in a position. It goes over Comer's head, and he gets ahead on it. And then Hickling. Hickling back to goal now. Turns his man inside and out. He's got a strong opponent here to beat, though, and he plays it, and he beats him. But well jockeyed and plays the ball back out. Comes out to Sisto, puts the ball across the face, and Sewell is there, but he can't get a head on it, but ends up getting a foot on it instead. Knowles kicks around, but that's going to go too far. Knowles has Hickling, but he doesn't need him yet. He's going to take it with his own feet, and he's dribbling through the middle. He's got people, more people on the right-hand side who plays it out in front of Snape. Snape has the opportunity to shoot, and it's a good save. It's a good save by feet. Chapman causes some drama there, and then Sewell again. Sewell fires it out in front of Knowles, who's got a rock and a rock's come down the left hand side he's got he's got hickling if he wants him and he uses him hickling takes a touch around his man tucks it back inside to the right and then back onto Knowles. Knowles needs some movement he plays it in front and that's not going to be the best one we've got to follow those through you've got to be following those through touching me back here with the second half Weaver, a long kick forward, looking for Sisto. <coughs> Beats everybody, and that allows Sisto the chance to run forward. He tries to cross it. It's a good cross in the end, and in the direction of Hickling, who puts it way over the bar. Ball put nicely into the box. Weaver gets up and takes it beautifully, as you'd expect. He rolls it out to Hickling early. He's got a rock getting in front of him, but plays it in front of Knowles. The ball's there for him if he wants it. He takes a touch. He tries to play his man. He can't He can't quite control it, and he'll pick up the foul. As a word with Coma. What will Knowles do here? He hits a curling on. It's to big. He's got a goal. He hits a curling on its tapis! What a goal! Ravi Dawes leaves the keeper sprawling. And why wouldn't I get excited? That's special, and you won't see a better bit of footage on Fox's TV. Again, Sisto. Sisto's made a break. Can he shoot? He's taking the ball out in front. He's probably gone too far. He plays it back in the middle. And that's uh, still going, still being played. Snape plays it back to Hickling, who puts it in the net, but it's gone out for a corner, apparently. <sighs> Borner uses Makumi. Makumi gets the angle, puts it in towards Sewell. A good jump by the KPR player, a miss by Coma. Sisto hits it. Oh, and a great shot and an even better save. Sewell's won all, 10 minutes into the second half. Hickling, left footer, top of the mark. Chapman, Nistic. Sisto a touch wide, plays it back out to Knowles with a back heel. Knowles takes his man on, he crosses it into the middle, into empty space. Snape lays it off to Brett Chapman. Snape lays it off to Brett Chapman. What's he going to call there? That's a yellow card, apparently against the Foxes for shooting on goal. Well defended by KPR, but Knowles isn't finished. He picks it up, gets back to the box, fires it into the middle. There's Snape, there he is, and he just casually plays it at the keeper, and you'll excuse Lance's language there as he's a little frustrated. <laughs> Long throw from Makumi. Snape holds it up, and then Sisto comes through on it. He pulls it back to Komaru. Unloads, but that's to the right of the goal. These shots on goals are mounting up. 15, 16 shots to four. The Foxes have had. But O'Rourke will shut that off and put the ball back in the direction of Snape. Snape somehow gets that bounce. I'm not sure how. And Knowles is off. Knowles beats his man. He's got an opportunity to shoot on goal. He plays the ball into the... Oh, and it doesn't quite get there. Who is it this time? Is it Hickling again? It looks like it will be. 
And the Fox has put one in the back of the net. That's lovely onto the six yard spot. The head is there for Chapman. It's in! Comfortably put away. A replication of the KPR first half goal. And the Foxes take the lead. Two goals to one. No, you're right. A rook throws it at Hickling, who flicks it over to Snape. Good bit of play there. I'm not sure if that's a set play, and Snape has the opportunity to put it in into the middle. Can he get a foot on? He does. The opportunity's there, and it gets put over the bar. Charles will take this throw. Tries to find Snape, which he does. It comes off his left quad that time, and he tries to turn on it, but gets beaten comfortably. Ball pushed forward. A good touch. And somehow Knowles comes away with it. I'm not sure how he plays Snape again. Snape needs to get a foot on. He gets pushed over, and that's going to be a penalty, I think. No, and the referee hasn't seen the offside. And eventually we're going to get an offside call. And <laughs> takes his time and pumps it long down the left-hand wing, and it hits... Hickling brilliantly. Hickling hits Comer. His men coming over the top. He plays it forward in the direction of Snape. Snape's forced to turn and run. He gets there first. And he's got the opportunity to play it back to Hickling. He doesn't. He crosses it in the middle. And there's the opportunity to assist though. He takes a shot. Another one from Makumi. Can Makumi get his foot around it? And he puts it over the bar. Sisto, Sisto's away of the races. Can he get in front of the keeper? He can't quite, but the keeper makes a meal of it. Sisto's still on goal. He plays it back in the middle. That's gone way over the top. He's got to be a bit more patient, Sisto. He did the good job bringing the keeper error. And he's away. He's got the opportunity to use Sisto. Sisto should get in his bike. Makumi joins him. Sisto tucks in. He's got the opportunity to have a shot. It wait, runs away from him. He plays it back to Makumi. Makumi puts it way over the bar. And get his drink back. And he's got a good throw in towards McLean. McLean can't get it, but gums out Sewell's wake, and he control the ball and looks for a few more bounces, and he plays it back out to Hickling. Hickling takes it on his right foot, plays the ball to the back stick. McLean's there, and so is McCoomey. McCoomey takes a touch, gets around his man. Can he finish? Oh, and he hits the keeper. Ball gets popped back into the middle and knocked out. No, not knocked out for a corner. It's still there. It's certainly not against the tenacious side like KPR. They're not the side you want to keep on, on the tanner hooks, and Sewell... Sewell's running forward. He's got the ball to Makumi. Makumi's off. There's no offside there. He's got the opportunity to take the ball. No, he has offside. He is offside. He's comfortably offside by the looks of it. So that's the fourth offside for the Foxes. Knocked back outside, and that's in the direction of O'Rourke, who does brilliantly. And he plays it out in front of Snape. Is he onside? He is. But who's going to... He's got men outside. He's got McLean there. He puts it at the keeper. And, and that's not good. Oh, it's a lovely shot and a great save, a reactionary save. Thought Knowles had put that one in and sunk the game, but not quite. But comes back out to Peacock. Peacock gets fouled from behind. Throws taken, back to goal. McLean pinches it. He goes forward, can't quite get there. They play it back to the keeper. He takes a dodgy touch, puts it in the direction of Hickling and nods it over the back to Peacock. Peacock plays it into Knowles. Knowles slips, but still managed to come away with the ball. Drops it back to Peacock. Peacock out to Hickling. That's a lovely ball. Hickling onto his right foot, puts it in front to Snape. Snape holding his defender off. He turns on him, he hits, and that goes over the bar again. Ball passed out from the keeper from the goal kick again. They go out to the left-hand side. There's four minutes remaining of normal time. They press into the middle. The Foxes tend to be pushing high here, trying to make another error. That ball bounces high. The Comes back to Hickling. Hickling gets it onto Snape. Snape has the opportunity to turn his man. He gets on the left foot. Can he play it? He gets ball crossed across. There's a man at the backyard, out the back stick, and McLean can't get there. Puts it to the right. Goal kick taken quickly to the left. Peacock gets in front of his man. They put the ball forward. Potter trying to defend Stoutley there, but they come away with the Foxes. 
KPR can't get out of their own half. They put a ball forward. That goes to McLean. McLean pushes it back out further to Potter. Potter into the middle. Straight across the face. That'll go out for another goal kick. Throw. One of the crowd members throws it back quickly. It's getting dark now. 50 seconds to go. Throw into the middle. He ducks around McLean. He plays it out to the right-hand side. And O'Rourke misses the opportunity to play that. And he does brilliantly. You could see the desperation. Both O'Rourke and Sewell were both there to clean up their man. Brilliant by both of them. Another long throw expected here. One minute 20 into extra time. And there's a good long throw. The, the opportunity to flick it out the back. McQueen touches it in. Eugene. There's a good long throw. You just knew it had happened. You just knew it would happen. They did really well to pinch it. There's always going to be something like that here after so many shots as shots from the foxes i call it very early and they're celebrating over a draw has the opportunity to push it wide up to nevis what will nevis do hasn't got anyone going forward potter potter plays it into the middle again potter potter tucks it back out to snape is he on side he is he plays it in the middle it's an interesting save by the feet Sewell tries to steal this one too. He gets on goal. Can he shoot? Oh, and he puts it wide. Referee calling the defence back. Hits it. Curls nicely. The keeper. Oh, the keeper went to catch it and kicked it instead. Not sure what he's done there. Good long throw from Knowles. Hits Chapman, who gets fouled off the ball. They, they let that go through, and then the ball's put forward. Comes back to Potter, who's behind. He plays a nice ball up in the air to raffle it. A couple of headers. Sewell's there. He tucks it back into McLean. McLean turns on the ball and plays it over the top to himself somehow and gets pushed out. McLean, McQueen will come down the wing again. Surely he can't do something else here. He stands on it and plays a beautiful ball back into the left wing back. They come forward, he plays his midfielder and Sewell trying to create something, pushing high, Peacock in front of him and McLean and that'll be the game. And what a game it is. The Foxes won't be happy with letting that one slip. 